Thank you. Well, there goes the neighborhood, folks. There, <coughs> excuse me, there goes the neighborhood. Now, most of you that watch my channel, and I'll say this for some people if they don't watch it too often, I don't really talk about the royal family. I don't go into their business. I don't comment on their business. Why? They're not my thing. Uh, it's not that I <clears throat> dislike the royal family. Until now. Let me finish. They're just not my thing. You know? I mean, you know, I have my agenda of why I do what I do. Um, you know, I will defend the royal family when these jerks do something to them. as Just because, I, you know... I don't like people screwing anybody over. But, as we've all heard the news about the Jubilee in the balcony, I am going to comment on my thoughts on all of this and the Queen and, and everything else. Only because it is directly going to affect me and my fellow American citizens. That's why I'm going to comment. And I'm going to give you my take as an American on what this is going to look like. I don't know if anybody cares or not, but this is what this is going to look like. Because, you know, I don't really pay attention to... I probably pay as... I, I see this stuff because, you know, I'm involved with our, our scene and everything, but I still don't pay it much mind. So I'm going to give the of what I see the take on it of what most people will see. Oop. Now, I don't even know if this story is true. Let's just start there because there is a pattern of, you know, a set pattern of behavior of these two going everywhere and they don't end up going and they're not even invited. So that's always been established. So there is, you know, these are just uh, statements from their people. I read the articles. Their people. So the one um, on uh, Instagram, Taking Meg Down a Pig, posted, Duke and Duchess of Sussex invited to make balcony at Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Prince Harry and Meghan will be allowed to attend the family events, but not take part in Trooping of the Color. Now, I'm a little confused, only because I don't know. I know what the Trooping of the Color is, but... So, if they're not allowed to... <clears throat> Excuse me. If they're not allowed to take part in the Trooping of the Color, then isn't standing on the balcony a part of that? So, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Prince Harry and Meghan, because that's sort of conflicting, from what I'm saying, I don't, I don't know. Prince Harry <clears throat> and Meghan have been invited to appear on Buckingham Palace balcony. They've reported, reportedly been invited to make an appearance on the Buckingham Palace balcony to witness the RAF fly pass during her her Majesty's Jubilee celebrations. Um, I'm highly, highly, highly irritated by this. These two have shat all over the royal family. I mean, everybody knows it. They know it. Their fans know I mean, everybody knows it. And yet they're going to be allowed on this balcony, which is a big deal to them, I mean, yeah. but it's just going to legitimize their behavior, one. It's going to legitimize them, because that's what, that's, that's what they're in, that's what they're out for, that's what they want to do. They need this. It's going to legitimize them, and it's going to make them even more emboldened on what they're doing here in my country they're going to be more emboldened more arrogant more aggressive and everything because they have this 
seemingly, you know, for people don't pay attention, stamp of approval. Now, they'll get, as far as the Americans will see, they're going to get the stamp of approval. But the queen and the monarchy and the royal family, the respect level is going to go down. So, next. So, <clears throat> Then I saw, as I was scrolling through Instagram, Charles is reportedly expecting an excoriating takedown of Camilla. And I've seen these stories. Prince Charles wants Prince William to stand up for Camilla ahead of Prince Harry's book release. So I'm sure that these two are, you know, cried in their crocodile tears and, you know, whether she saw the queen or not or whatever, but there were still crocodile tears to get on this balcony, whether they were summoned or whatever the story is, who knows? I don't really fucking care. I'm irritated because this is directly affecting me and my fellow Americans. But anyway, so best behavior, they're going to brown nose and then prick Harry's, so then they'll get on the the thing, which is what, in the beginning of June, on the balcony, and then it'll be the Harry and Meghan show, as we saw before. And, uh, net, you know, they'll be, while Netflix cameras might not be allowed up there, they'll still be around. You know, going to go kiss babies and things like that. Um, but I bet you, so this book's going to come out, out after it, so they're, going to shit on the royal family again again so I noticed that so this is what I think of Queen Elizabeth and this is what I always liked about Queen Elizabeth and what I think about when I think of Queen Elizabeth is her service in World War II and what her family did uh, you know the Blitzkrieg so I, I think they went to Windsor Castle at night but then walk around during the day and talk to people and look at all the, you know, destruction and everything from the Fuhrer, you know, little did she know her great, or her granddaughter-in-law would be very similar to that. Um, she's tarnished. This is over. I have no respect for this woman anymore. Now, Uh, as a for, as a grandmother looking at her as a grandmother, I guess I can understand. But looking at her as the Queen of England, or the UK, however yeah, people have correct me, I don't know. We say Queen of England here. The Queen of England, the monarchy, twelve hundred years, and then she's what seventy years into it. The Queen total loss of respect where is this tough woman here doesn't she have a duty so she's out as a grandma and and you know people gave gave her a lot of shite about the Andrew thing and I never talk about Andrew I just stay away from that subject altogether however I will bring this up him uh, you know walking his mother down the aisle or whatever at the the memorial um, that's her son. And that's his father. That's his father's memorial. So, that's his father. So, that's, uh, and then, you know, he didn't quit his family and shit all over them. He made bad choices. But, and he's been punished and, and shunned and, and whatever uh, for these bad choices that a former president of the United States made even worse choices with the same crowd. Even worse. But yet he's lauded by the same people that criticize and have shunned Prince Andrew. So that's how I see that. That's how I see that. <clears throat> so then, which brings me to this. She's literally throwing 
Prince William and Duchess Catherine under the bus. Whether she, she... Now, whether she realizes it or not, she's undermining the, the Prince William and Duchess Catherine who do everything right. They don't step out of line. They do everything right. They keep to themselves. They have their cute little family. Yeah. And then, so then we have the people on the left, those two clowns, that act like brats, make fools out of themselves, constantly. Not a mess up here and there, constantly make fools out of themselves and the royal family and shit all over them and disrespect them and, you know, sell them out. We all know the list, the long list of things that they do. So she's legitimizing their behavior and delegitimizing Prince William, the future king, and his wife, who do everything right. That's irritating. That's irritating. <clears throat> so, with all that being said, the only people I have any respect for anymore are Prince William and Duchess Catherine and Princess Anne. I love this picture of Princess Anne, by the way. Everything about it, her outfit, her jo- uh, everything, her ha- everything. Um, these are the only three I have any respect for. I don't have a, <clears throat> I don't have any issues with uh, Prince Charles. I guess on a, you know, I'm sure maybe he's all right to have a con- conversation with. I don't really know. Um, but I was born in 1979. So right about the time when I was able to start reading and seeing things, which would have been about in 1984, 5, 6, 7, is when all the tabloids at the grocery store were about Princess Di- Diana, Princess of Wales, excuse me, and Prince Charles and all their issues for years. So he just, you know, they they made him what he is. You know, uh, we know that we, we know. <laughs> And I don't need to explain. So there's no, he's not, I don't want to say that he's disliked or I dislike him, but nobody likes him either. You know, I know Camilla has worked very hard. I know that now. Not everybody here does. But, um, you know, and then maybe, I don't, nobody really knows much about that Edward and his wife over here. But, and, and nobody knows really about Princess Anne and how hard, she works so really Americans are really only the only two left out of reasonable Americans not the Sussex squad are Prince William and Duchess Catherine now there's something else here that's going on another message that Queen Elizabeth has sent the monarchy just from seeing everything and I see the attacks on them, the monarchy is uh, pretty weak. And um, I could be wrong, but I think it, it's definitely under attack. It's weakened. Anyway, even before Prick Harry and Meghan started doing their shite, I mean, people have been trying to take down the monarchy for a long time. Who I don't know how long, but probably a long time. Uh, 1,200 years. <laughs> they maybe wanted to replace it with a different one, different royal family, but it's, but it's weakened. It's, uh, it's got some, that ship's got some holes in her. So what this signal, what this signals to all the anti-monarchists and abolish the monarchy and everybody else is that they're that much weaker. And it's up for up for the taking. It's up to take down. Because they have a weak old woman. And, you know, on a personal thing, they have a weak old grandmother still calling the shots. Emotion. Weak meaning, you know, like emotionally, you know, just, you know what I mean. But she's still in charge. It's up for the taking. And 
people are going to take it. It's weak. This is a sign of weakness. 110%. So then they're going to they're going to get on their precious Megan and Harry are going to get their precious balcony shot. You know, if I were Queen Elizabeth or anybody else, I'd say, "All right, if you got to be on this balcony, we're going to need to see those kids up on this balcony." But who knows? But it's up for the taking. This is their week. I mean, it's there's they're they're right out in the open, um, sitting ducks for the the uh, anti monarchy crowd, sitting ducks. So, you know, Princess Anne will be gone, and you know, Prince Charles. You know, it's going to be weak. So then, you know, looking forward to Prince William and Duchess Catherine having their reign if they even want it um i think he has a sense of duty so he'll do what he needs to do but you know looking forward to their reign if they can keep it if they can keep it but because of those two clowns and everything they've done and you've got an, an old woman uh, at the helm there's so many vulnerabilities there between, you know, I mean, there's so many vulnerabilities. And your biggest enemies are going to be on the balcony. The two biggest enemies to the British family are in the British family and going to be up on the balcony. So, I don't know how you figure. I mean, my opinion, you know, I wouldn't think that my opinion matters. It shouldn't. Uh, but that's my take on it. So, they better do something. I don't even know what they can do at this point. Really. I, I, I don't know what they can do. But, unless they do something, like I said, there goes the neighborhood, and it's going to be... Oh, and, the, you know, these two... Look at these two. Look at, the, look at, the, look at them. That's not fake, like, crocodile tears that you saw before. Look at them. And that balcony, they should be, I mean, what a shot. What a shot. So if, you know, they've got to, if they can, they got to hang on to it. Because if they don't, it's going to be lights out. Nobody home. Open for tour, even more so, I guess, than it already is. There goes the neighborhood. There went the neighborhood. Lights out. Nobody's home. So that's my take on everything. Uh, looking forward to your comments. This is a terrible, 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 terrible shame. See you later. Oh, and yeah, this just makes, you know, this is going to be an international incident here pretty soon with these two losers running amok, emboldened, entitled, with a stamp of approval. Seemingly. I mean, people don't really care. The people that uh, make money off of them and have something to sell and all of that, they care. They'll that's they'll be able to merch that, if you will, but nobody else really cares. But it's just going to make my life more difficult. And every other unknowing American, at this point, I took a measure today. So, uh, <clears throat> Looking forward to hearing from you. Talk to you later.